Hey yo, what the fuck? What's good? We back with another video. Shit, today you about to be reacting to the tragic story of Lil Ties, a Lil TYS, you feel me? I told y'all I was gonna come with this little documentary type shit. It's not like a documentary, it's like a 10 minute video type shit, you feel me? But it's like a little video that they talking about like his passing and shit, and I told y'all I was gonna react to it. I did react to like two songs from bruh. I am planning on reacting to a couple more bruh songs, so if y'all niggas got some shit y'all want me to react to, just drop that shit down in the comments, you feel me? Which I already know if y'all niggas new to this hoe, definitely hit that subscribe, turn on y'all post notifications so y'all niggas could be notified. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias too. Definitely keep running them hoes up. But shit, let's not even waste no time though. Let's get in the video and see what this shit about. Love definitely rip bro though. He up in the rap game and made history in the industry. But he was tragically killed right before he blew up and took everything to the next level. It's a wild and brutal story, and today we're breaking it all down. Lil T and we is watching this shit from Hip Hop Daily, so you feel me? If bruh got some cap in this shit and that shit not true, y'all niggas call that shit out in the comments. TYS was raised in Sacramento in a neighborhood called Northgate. It's one of the most active areas in the city, and TYS said in an interview that growing up there was wild because everything he saw. TYS's mom and dad weren't really around when he was a kid, so he just made his own lane and had to learn how to move in the streets. He didn't want to air all of his street business during interviews, but TYS got active at an early age and spent a lot of time locked up. TYS said he was- What is bro race even though, you feel me? He looked like a Caucasian nigga, but then he looked like he could be mixed with like some Hispanic shit. I don't know, y'all niggas let me know though. Kid, the first time he got booked was for evading arrest and selling a little weed. Then he came out and started kicking in doors and robbing houses. And his second arrest was for burglary and another weapon case. There were a few probation violations that got a What's lot What's up with everybody in California, though? Why all these niggas be really kicking doors and shit and doing home invasions out there? What's up with y'all niggas out there on bro? What's up for a few months at a time, and before he turned 18, he'd already been to Juvie 10 times. TYS was really nice at baseball and could've taken it far, but getting in so much trouble with the cops caused issues at school, too. One time after he finished his Juvie bid, TYS tried to go back to school, but they kicked him out and pushed him even deeper into the streets. He said that he wished he wasn't in the streets at all and had just gone professional with sports to make legit money. But unfortunately, that's not how it went down and he ended up dying in the trenches. The area where TYS came up has a lot of gangs, but he repped the Nortes. The Nortes or the Norteños are a Hispanic gang that started out in the California prison system. Back in 1968, Hispanic- So gotta be Hispanic though, you feel me? If a nigga repping Hispanic gang, cause I don't, you feel me? I don't know if they letting any race get in the Hispanic gang, cause I definitely seen like a black Mexican fuck around with peso and shit, you feel me? I ain't never seen that shit before. So I don't know if they letting Caucasians in the Hispanic gang, so y'all niggas let me know the politics out there on bro. Prisoners in California split into two major groups, the Norteños, aka Northerners, and the Sudanians. AK Southerners. The North Days are also under a massive Mexican American crime family called Nuestra Familia, and the Sedanios are affiliated with the Mexican Mafia. The Mexican Mafia was created to protect Mexican Americans inside prison, but then some of them started abusing Hispanic dudes from the North, and that's what sparked the deadly war that's been going on for decades. Some crews just focus on getting money, but the North Days are known for taking out anyone who gets in their way. Back in 2005, a North Day affiliate named Andres Rea was standing outside a liquor store with a rifle when the cops showed up. He wasn't gonna go down easy though, and started letting off shots. Rea yeah, that nigga was on that. Another, and the police called in a SWAT team to take him out. Rea was actually a US Marine who served in Iraq, but the cops said he was repping the North Days the entire time. Then in 2013, bro, y'all know it's so many gangs in the U.S. Army, my nigga. I swear to God, bro, I ain't even about to go there though. But it's so many motherfucking gangs in the motherfucking U.S., bro. I swear to God, the U.S. damn near gang itself, real shit. Giovanni Pacheco shot up a Mexican restaurant in Salinas, California. Seven people got hit during the shooting, and three of them ended up dying from their wounds. Lil Tys was repping the North Days, but he also had his own crew. He started with some homies back in the day called Take Your Shit. And that's where his rap name came from. TYS hopped up to Port Shirley, but he always knew he wanted to make it in the music industry. He started making his own songs as a kid, but after he got active in the streets, he was focused on making money. After he turned 18, though, TYS realized he needed to switch up how he moved. Every time he got booked in Juvie, it was only for a couple months. But he knew that when he turned 18, the charges would start getting a lot more serious. He hopped in the booth and started taking rap more seriously, but he still needed a way to make money while he was working on music. TYS dropped his first video around 2018, and it racked up over 20k views in no time. He ended up deleting it over some gang politics he never really talked about though, and he didn't come back to the rap game until October 2020. He didn't have any kind of deal or anyone helping him push the music, but TYS still racked up over 300k views on the first official video he dropped. 
topping off like that ain't easy, and it was clear from the jump that people were rocking with his style. Hitting 300k was crazy, but TYS never expected what happened next. A month after he came back to the music game, TYS dropped the track straight bars and leveled up in a big way. It blew up immediately and ran up crazy numbers, and now it's sitting at over 6 million views on I did just react to straight bars yesterday, so y'all niggas go on the channel and keep running that whole up too, though. YouTube. TYS didn't talk about what went down the streets in interviews, but he wasn't afraid to air it out in his music. Like on the track Afterlife, when he rapped, you miss your partner, you can see him in that afterlife. The sucker died, we trying to creep up in the candlelight. You scared to dribble, you is not no real stepper. Every time we off a sucker, I swear it make me feel better. And we know y'all isn't no drillers, y'all ain't never popped a thing. So quit playing, could die over the shit that you be saying. I lost my- and I said that shit in the video though, that bro was definitely, you feel me? He was dressing that bitch to somebody. I don't know who he was talking to, but if y'all niggas know, let me know him, bro. Brother on some fuck shit, it's been driving me insane. It's not clear how much pressure TYS was putting on the ops in the streets, but he definitely had some crazy situations going on. One time he was throwing hands with an op and was allegedly winning the fight. But then the other dude pulled out a strap and pistol whipped TYS in the face. He went live on IG right after it went down to talk about it. And even though his face was all busted up, he still clowned the op for having to use his gun. TYS allegedly rapped about it too on like the track. He got hit though, you feel me? You feel me? Normally when niggas get hit in the face with a gun, that nigga at least gonna get like a cut. You feel me? Get bust open op or something. Like his gun. just swole. TYS allegedly rapped about it too on the track 20 and said, and ain't nobody ever pressed me, ain't nobody going to. Getting into it with suckers, but you know they ain't gonna shoot. Walk away, you going out, so tell me what you gonna do. They might have caught me lacking once, but that's the shit you go through. After TYS got his name buzzing in the area, he signed a deal with Empire and broke the record for having the biggest deal for any Hispanic artist from Northern California. Even though he was making moves in the industry, TYS still had a lot of drama in the streets. And that's when his management brought him to LA to cool off for a while. They put TYS up in a mansion and he lived there for a couple months and kept working on his music. TYS was doing everything right and trying to really take his career to the next level. But unfortunately, he still ended up going back to Sacramento and that's what got him killed. In May 2022, Lil TYS was outside his apartment in Citrus Heights when shots started going off. Nobody knows exactly what happened, but rumors say a dude named Tony Diaz tried to rob TYS and up the strap first. Both of them got hit, but TYS tragically couldn't recover and was found dead at the scene. At yeah, first, that shit crazy said, though. Lee's brain go out like no bitch though. He's still up that bitch in blue, real shit. And he hit his target. But bro, wind up ain't making it. That shit definitely fucked up though. At the scene. At first, the cops said that TYS. Where the fuck was his homies and shit at? You feel me? If, you feel me? Like, I know bro wasn't just standing out there on his dolo and shit. Like, where the fuck his people was at? Diaz knew each other. But TYS's family says that's all cap. The district attorney decided to not press murder charges because Diaz claimed self-defense. He pleaded no contest to a gun charge and only got hit with a 180-day sentence in county jail. Then a year later, Diaz got caught with a bunch of guns and ammo after the cops raided his crib. And TYS's mom, Stephanie Lopez, said that Diaz is going to end up killing someone else because the cops never really try to take him off the streets. What makes the situation even worse is that TYS's family didn't get any assistance from the DA. Victims of violent crime can get up to 70k to help pay for medical and mental health services, funeral costs, and lost wages. But since Diaz Shit, never charged the murder, they never got help with any of that and had to pay out of pocket for everything. It's still not clear why Tony Diaz murdered little TYS, but rumors say it had something to do with the last thing TYS posted on Instagram. He posted on a story and was offering $30 for someone to print something out and bring it to him. Then he asked if any women wanted to be in a music video with him and told him to hit him up if they were interested. Some people think that TYS got in touch with Diaz about getting the paper printed out, and that's how Diaz got his address and decided to rob him. But according to a detective with the Citrus Heights PD, Diaz and TYS didn't have any messages on their phone or through social media at all. So the cops said, all of this info led us to believe the knowledge Diaz had of Jacob was primarily through Jacob's rap career and following via the post Jacob made. Being a rapper is a dangerous job. You never know who's watching your page and thinking about hitting a lick on you. And the more famous you get, the bigger the target on your back. That shit fucked up. They definitely had bruh fucked up. Like, how the fuck these niggas try to rob bruh and shit? That's, them niggas some real bitches. I hate niggas like that, though. Niggas be grinding, trying to work hard and shit for they shit. Then it's always some broke-ass nigga trying to come along and try to fuck shit up. Real shit, though. Services, funeral costs, and lost wages. But since Diaz was never charged with murder, they never got help with any of that and had to pay out of pocket for everything. It's still not clear why Tony Diaz murdered Lil TYS, 
but rumors say it had something to do with the last thing TYS posted on Instagram. He posted on a story and was offering $30 for someone to print something out and bring it to him. Then he asked if any women wanted to be in a music video with him and told him to hit him up if they were interested. Some people think that TYS got in touch with Diaz about getting the paper printed out. And that's how Diaz got his address and decided to rob him. But according to a detective with the city- Even if bruh got his address like that, why the fuck would bruh, like, you know, why the fuck would he be alone type shit? Real shit though. Like, where the fuck bruh people was at? Like, why the fuck would he even go meet up with somebody? But I guess because he felt comfortable because he had his blick with him. But shit, no, always go how you think that shit gonna go. You always go with somebody else type shit. You, you feel me? That you trust, like, real shit. Go with your brother, like, you nigga, real shit. Go with somebody else. Cause nigga, just having your gun all the time, that shit ain't gonna save you, my nigga, real shit. Tris Heights PD, Diaz and TYS didn't have any messages on their phone or through social media at all. So the cops said, all of this info led us to believe the knowledge Diaz had of Jacob was primarily through Jacob's rap career and falling via the post Jacob made. Being a rapper is a dangerous job. You never know who's watching your page and thinking about hitting a lick on you. And the more famous you get, the bigger the target on your back is. Lil T.Y.S. Oh, has the skills and momentum to make it far in the industry. But tragically, he lost his life before getting the chance to really make it. Check out this how this definitely things. crazy. That's why niggas definitely gotta stay prayed up, real shit, man. Cause niggas, niggas be having weird ass energies out here. You gotta watch who you bring around you, who you keep. You feel me? It's mad weird shit out here in the world, my nigga. But I already know if y'all niggas got some other documentary y'all want me to react to, drop that shit down in the comments. But shit, this it for the video, man. Rip Tys or Lil Ties, man. I don't know how I'm supposed to say that nigga name though, real shit. But this it for the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that shit on bro. Act the gangsta on the internet, guess what, I'm not impressed It was fluffy first, but the vacuum still made it compressed On the phone with Lil Bro, 